Hello, my dear friends. Welcome back to another episode on Exotic Sense with Nikhil. And today we have a very important fragrance topic to discuss about, to talk about. It's about perfume fakes. The whole business, how it operate, how it operates, where it uh, begins, where it ends, who are the possible gullible customers for for these evil minds. Uh, guys, there are a lot of loopholes in the perfume hobby in the perfume collection business, perfume buying business, especially in those countries where you do, you do not have an established source for buying most of the expensive niche fragrances or even designer fragrances for a retail price. At least with a retail, you have, uh, you know, the peace of mind. Those are expensive and they are supposed to be expensive. None of the perfumes are supposed to be cheap, just like any other commodity. Uh, be it mobile phones, computers, laptops, memory cards, uh, hard disks, monitors. There are fakes everywhere. There are, there are fakes for iPhones. There are fakes for Bose headphones. So the market is full, it's, it's, it's full of, you know, these scamsters. Some scamsters are very easy to spot. Some scamsters, some scamsters are pure professionals. They've been mastering the art of scamming. So, um, you know, they'll make sure even till the end, you are, you know, uh, hidden from the fact that they are trying to cheat you. They are trying to play with you. I've been cheated before, and uh, some of the prominent names in today, uh, in today's market, have cheated me. Guys, so we are talking about fakes, and let me show you some of the bottles. Now, why this topic? Why, why this topic? Um, after reading this article on Fragrantica, which I think is a brilliant article from Sergi again. Two names I always take from Fragrantica. There are brilliant, other brilliant perfume journalists, but Sergi Borisov completely deserves my respect. Matt Yurov, the scent scientist, absolutely deserves my respect. These two guys are just phenomenal. And you need balls to be so open about such things, guys, because you as an end consumer need to know some things very importantly. There's this, there's this world of perfume testers. So if you've read that article on Fragrantica, and just in case you haven't, Leave this video right now because you need some pre-information before you can process all this. So go to that link, please go through the article. It's a very simple article, a short article, but it'll give you uh, it, it'll give you a very wide perspective, a very wide perspective on the whole fake perfume business. So guys, there are these perfume testers which are available available in the market for a lower price. So just in just in case, I'll give you an example, and this is a fake one, by the way. And this is where things really turned upside down for me and I left buying all these perfume testers and uh, getting these uh, cheap niche perfumes because I know if it's quality, it cannot be cheap. It just cannot be cheap. That's why I'm sticking to my ouds and others just to be sure that I'm not putting any harmful chemicals on me. That's what worries me most. More than, you know, wasting my money, I'm worried about wasting my, wasting my health. I can work harder. I can get my money back without any regrets. And uh, the only problem with health is if it's gone, it's gone. Your family suffers and you suffer and I don't want you to go through that process. It is just unbearable to watch a person suffer because of, of a bad health situation. Anyway, this is how a tester bottle uh, of Creed comes in the usual markets. Now, this market is not only existent in India, in the Indian subcontinent, the Gulf. It, these kind of testers also reach people in Europe. With internet, things have advanced, so the whole world is connected to each other. These are very easy to, 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 uh, to be had, to be bought from eBay. See, it's a decent looking bottle. It's just missing the cap. The sticker is absolutely fine. Uh, you get a batch code somewhere to not on this bottle. I think it was the other bottle. I have some other testers as well. So uh, if you can see, if you can have a look at the condition of the bottle, there's dust at the top. And, uh, you know, any person who's just getting into the world of niche perfumes will be easily confused by these, these deals. Now, this perfume, if bought in retail, would have costed me, would have cost me about uh, 20, 28 to 30,000 Indian rupees. But this one, uh, uh, supposedly a tester, I bought it for about 4,000 rupees, 4,500 rupees because uh, it wasn't really going out. It was not one of those popular Creed perfumes, hence it was a cheap deal, a very big loophole which I should have identified. But I was really, really uh, young in the game and I wasn't really sure about these things because Creed is still not available in India. In India they don't have a retail store, uh, but I had retail 
uh, decants from my friend Mr. Oz so I could easily identify from the color. Look at the color, it's yellowish. This is a fake, this is a 100% fake and, and this is widely available all over the world. There are signs, especially eBay, the scamsters, they love eBay. eBay is a shit place to buy perfumes. Please don't go for your vintage perfumes. Now, yes, some people will argue, but the smell is absolutely nice, absolutely fine. There's no problem with the smell. So, Nikhil, why are you saying it's a fake? What makes you think? Guys, if you've heard about these American companies, yes, uh, like Dua and uh, Alexandria, and there are so many other perfume clones, Perfume Parlor UK, and uh, many other, most of these things are available uh, in the Gulf market, and uh, they use perfumes without alcohol, most of the people, so they produce oils, they get these cheap clone oils, they smell really good, they have copied the latest perfumes, even perfumes which are more expensive than say 500 US dollars, 500 pounds. Uh, Serge of top, top perfume range is already available for 30 dollars, 30 ml for 30 dollars, 60 dollars, something like that. Roger's very new Elysium is available as a clone. So guys, it, it, it should make you think why these perfumes are available for so cheap and why, what am I paying for? Guys, you're paying for safety norms, you're paying for your health, you're paying for your future, you're paying for your children's health. Everything is important. That's why these perfume companies have uh, a very strict cosmetic uh, guidelines and they are, they are regulated by people from the world of science. It's just not easy to uh, come out with garbage materials because most of these materials which are used in perfumes, um, uh, illegitimate perfumes are already banned. So the fixatives, the cheap materials, the cheap fixatives are uh, dangerous to your health. So you need to completely avoid these. Let me show you a beautiful fake. And this is not just the gray market or the internet that I'm talking about. I bought this perfume from a mall. However, the perfume bottle and the name are very popular. This is Tom Ford's Oud Wood. I don't have the original cover of this. Uh, see, everything is fine. The code is fine. So it's not just the code thing here. Everything is legitimate about this bottle. Tom Ford bottles are very easy to fake, all right? But this is not oud wood, it just smells different. It smells like a nice barbershop sort of cologne. It's not Tom Ford's oud wood and it was selling for, uh, you know, as less as 20 US dollars equivalent of uh, Indian rupees in a popular mall. Maybe there's, there's a region, uh, there's, a, there's, there's uh, this problem with the bottle design. Maybe uh, there's a problem with the label. So the company decided to uh, just put this bottle in the grey market. Guys, that does not happen. There are buyers for everything. These companies have a lot of money. They are backed up by corporate giants. They really don't need your money. They have enough to spend for their reputation, to maintain their reputation in the market. So now, one more thing. Vintage discontinued bottles. This is Amwash Silver. You, know, you see that silver thing? It's, it's printed. It's laser printed and then you have this tester not for sale logo here. So when I was on Fragrantica, I was reading this article. They very clearly mentioned that if there's this tester symbol, you need to be careful because most of these companies do not sell uh, testers at all or do not put out so many testers. Now you can imagine uh, it's a niche brand. There are very less number of shops all over the world. Why would be they? they may, why would they be making unlimited testers for everyone? For every person who wants to get into the niche market, why would they be producing more number of testers than their retail bottles? That would be completely insane, guys. So again, guys, the smell is great. Everything is fine, but this is most probably a fake bottle coming from these these countries, these weird. Uh, uh, people from these, uh, from the people who do not care about your health, who do not care about anything else but their own pockets, they'll 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 throw you into hell just because they are getting paid for it. Interlude by Amvaj. Even though it smells absolutely sm similar, I was told this is a vintage patch, and again it has a tester label at the back. It came in a white box. It did not come in a retail box. Most of these perfumes come in cardboard, plain cardboard boxes. I even had a um, bleaker. I have had multiple bottles of bleaker street without the cap. I think getting the caps is not easy for these guys. And that's what distinguishes uh, these, these fake uh, 
uh, bottles from retail bottles. Now, there are some telltale signs which are pretty easy to spot, especially these tester stickers, um, missing retail packaging, everything is a sure shot sign that you might be getting tricked. Now, if you look at the work on, on, on the logo here, it's not very good, you know, it's, it's kind of rough and when you turn the bottle, you can see, uh, you know, cheap sticking material, it's not put up in a very good way because when you're paying so much for uh, a retail perfume bottle or even uh, the name Amvash, you know, it's, it's one of the most respected names in the perfume market. Guys, you really think they would do a shabby job like this? I don't think so. So what should you do? How can you avoid these things? Just look, look for the most basic telltale signs. Stick to retail buying. I know it's expensive, but guys, your health is what matters most. And um, then avoid buying on the internet. Avoid buying secondhand perfumes until and unless you are provided with a bill of purchase. And that is the only way where you know you cannot really go wrong so that's one thing which should be included stop buying from the gray market stop being greedy that is the biggest problem with all of us we are greedy we want everything uh, for cheap we want to have huge collections because we we want to experience everything we want to hoard everything and it is not just the problem of the people who are cheating us it's the demand which creates money for these cheaters and um, i think that's also a, probably the biggest problem it's our greed to show off it's trying to fit in it's trying to buy the most popular perfume like creeds aventus to to uh, to impress the ladies to uh, you know have that panty dropper attribute to your personality so guys these are the things which really help these people it's our greed which helps these people so i hope this video has something useful for all of you so i haven't been been buying uh, such perfumes for almost two years now i buy mostly retail if i don't get a chance i don't bother even decant scare me now because i'm really not sure if the person sending me the decant is putting in actual retail fragrance or just one of these tester things because it's very easily available in the market just imagine the the, the profit margin that these guys have and i think it's it's mostly these retail companies who realize even indie companies like zoologist have fakes in the market which was quite surprising because they are not so popular company they are not so well known not so popular outside you know the fragrance community and uh, that was you know, something which really, really uh, pushed me to make this video. I think most of my testers are fake. I've wasted a lot of money and I've realized that and I'm not going to touch it. I think it's, uh, it's, it's the time where the retail companies have um, been shaken by these, these, these uh, parallel perfume sellers, these cheaters, these scam artists, these really talented a scam artist, I wish they'd used their talents for something really useful for humanity. So it's shaken their profit margins, hence they are coming out, reaching out to perfume journalists to put out such videos uh, or such, uh, uh, you know, to hold such dis discussions, to put out uh, these articles for everyone to know that, yes, there is this parallel universe which really exists in the perfume world and you need to stay away. So see you guys again tomorrow with a review of Davidoff's Leather Blend. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.